everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. Today is Punched Out Thursday to Die For and I'm going to be using my square punch and also that Sizzix die you see right there with some fall leaves. And I'm going to be using my Hip Kick Club kit that I got for the month of September. And it has a lot of fall colors in it. Um, some of it is Maggie Holmes and uh, Marigold I believe it's called. And some of it is also pink fresh and these little tiny pictures I have are pictures of my children when they were a lot younger and um, they were in like um, I'm gonna say two three four and five and um, they had fall pictures taken at their um, where they used to go to daycare. So those are the photos that I am scrapping today. So first I'm just sewing a piece of white cardstock and then I did cut into that paper you saw with all these little frames on it. And I cut a few frames out because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda stagger my pictures kinda off to the side a little bit of these little paper frames. And first I'm going to back each one of these with some of these papers and you see on the side there I showed you the leaves I already cut them out with my die cut machine I didn't show you doing all that but um, these leaves are going to be really cool because they're going to be um, a really big part of my layout um, but first I'm finishing off um, just kind of um, giving them just a little border just a little something and now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do some of my mixed media. So now we got these a while back um, with one of the color kits from the Hip Kit Club. And this one is Summer Rides and it is so light that you could barely see it when I put it on the paper. So I had to like do the application a couple times with the packaging technique. Um, what I did is I just rubbed my um, ink pad on a piece of packaging, sprayed a little water, and then just kind of dabbed it down on my paper. So I had to keep doing this over and over again, like I said, because it's very light. You'll see me do it again. Now this color I'm using, this is a Distress Oxide. Um, this one is called um, Prism Stone, and it looks like, it looks really weird. It looks green right now, but it's really a gray. Um, so when it lightens up, you'll see on the paper, it's kind of, it's more of a grayish tone and it goes really good with this, um, my son's layout, my son's picture, I mean, and now this pink one is worn lipstick and this is also a distress oxide and see how the water is kind of pooling up like that. That's the, just, that's the, um, gesso that helps, um, do that. So um, this way I could wipe it up and dab it up with my um, paper towel if I want to or a baby wipe and I could pick up most of it if I don't want it that dark and I want it to be lighter and that's what you see me doing there with my paper towel. So now this one was a color box old one that I had and this one is like a coral color and it actually turned out being a little too dark. I wasn't happy with how dark it was um, so I do dab it up quite a bit and I do end up going back in which I do it off camera but I do end up going back in and I use a little bit of some acrylic um, white paint to tone it down a little bit which you can do that um, you can always go back with white acrylic paint and dab it up now you see me I did spray a little water on it to dab it up a little bit and see how much lighter it got so that's that was really good but the blue I end up coming in and see now I'm gonna rub the actual ink pad on my layout now see if I would have done that without any gesso on it would have stayed like that it would have had the streaks like that and it just wouldn't have pulled up like it is now so that's why I use gesso because it's kind of like a protective barrier um, over your paper so see I keep going in <laughs> keep going in. I played with this background for such a long time this time. I don't know what it was, but I was just having the hardest time with it. I don't know. But sometimes these ink pads don't come out as dark 
when you wet them on your paper as they would if you were just using them like a normal ink, you know, pad. So now what I'm doing is I'm just rubbing it on dry and making this really cool print. And I like that. I actually liked it when I did that. So, and it actually brought out a little bit more of the dark tones to it. Now this one, I shouldn't have did it with because it came out too dark again. So that's why I said I come in with white acrylic paint um, off camera. I don't do it on camera. And I did lighten it up a little bit, even though it does go with my daughter's outfit really well and her background um, and that little frame. It was a deeper um, coral color that she was wearing that day. So once I'm done doing my background, which took me forever, <laughs> then you will see me come in with my leaves. Now, I love the way this layout turned out with the leaves. It turned out so, so pretty. And I keep dabbing up with my paper towel. You see me? Look at me. I'm a mess. But it ends up turning out really nice. So, like I always says, it always looks like a hot mess. But it get, most of it gets covered up. And it really looks really nice when you're all done. So, now my leaves, what my plan was, was that I was going to kind of come in with... All different pattern papers that I used for my Hip Kick Club kits, kit from September, which had quite a few papers in it that I really liked. And I just um, used my die cut and I, I die cut leaves out of them. Um, and now I'm just going to go along the edges of the whole 12 by 12 paper. And I'm just going to kind of do every other color or like just kind of randomly. And see, that's what it's going to look like. And it's going to kind of be like a border for me around like a frame of leaves going around my whole um, layout. And that's what I was going for. So I started to glue this down. Now this took me a while to glue them down because, let's face it, they're very intricate. And um, trying to do the glue and not get the glue everywhere and trying to keep it you know, on there. That's why I use my fine tip glue and, um, my fine tip glue bottle. And I used, um, Scott, I use scotch glue whenever I do mixed media cause it sticks really, really well. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going to keep doing that, um, along the edges. Now I know you see that the leaves are sticking out. That's okay. Cause I'm going to go back and I'm going to trim them off the excess. I will trim it off. I just wanted the edges of the leaves kind of peeking in um, around the layout. So I used, there was a couple of different papers I used. A couple of them were from the Maggie Holmes um, Marigold Collection and a couple were Pink Fresh um, Studio. So they're super pretty papers, um, but I don't, I live in Florida and I don't have a lot of fall photos. So I mean, they are versatile and I can use them for other things, the papers, but um, for the most part, they are fall colors. Um, I did like that they threw some pink in the hip kits um, to, um, to go with the fall colors, so I'm sure I'll use them eventually, but this was a good way for me to use up a lot of my product, so I was very happy that... I was able to do this leaf layout and make it look fall um, with their pictures because the photos are fall pictures that they took at their school. So, so there it is all glued down and all ready to go. And now you're going to see me flip it over and I'm just going to trim off all the way around all that excess leaf. And... It turns out looking really pretty, guys. I love this idea. And it did take me a bit, but it the end result is so worth it. So I was very happy and very pleased with the outcome. Um, I also want to remind you not to forget to check out the other lady. So there it is, guys. Look at that. See how nice it looks? I love it. So then I had these chipboard wood veneers that were um, leaves. And I did have a few colors that went really well. So I thought... A couple raised leaves would look really cool, smaller ones. So I stuck a few of those around the edges as well of my framed layout. And now what I'm doing is I'm just popping up 
all of my photos with some crap foam. And I already taped down my pictures to each one of those little frames. And, oh, like I was saying, don't forget to check out the other ladies. I'll have all their links down below. And um, make sure you check them out as well. And see that orange? It was a little bit too corally orangey. I don't know. But um, it did go with my daughter's background, so I guess it's okay. I just, I thought it was a little bit too bright for what I was looking for. But I do tone it down, so all is good. So in those two collections right there, that is the Splendid Days. Um, this is an exclusive collection with HipKit, and, um, those were some of the papers I used. It was Splendid Days, that's what it was. And it has, like, all these colors in it that go with all these little frames, and I was super excited about that because I used some of the flowers. So, I used these ones for my son's, um, frame with his picture, and I just kind of tucked them behind the flowers and they're all like um fall flowers super pretty this is kind of like a like a lavender I'm gonna say color and then my other daughter had on a blue and white and you can't see she had these little yellow bows on her uh, outfit they were super cute and um I used baby blue on hers and then I used that deeper um coral color on my other daughter and now I'm going in, so now this is the sticker pad we got in the collection as well, in the kit I mean. And um, these clear stickers, what I do is if I wanted to use them as die cuts and I don't want to use them as a clear sticker, I just stick them on um, the back of a white cardstock and then I just fussy cut them out. And then I can move around and use them like a die cut. So now what I'm doing is I'm going and I have some of these small... Um, smaller thickers that came in the kit as well by Mary it was Marigold as well um, and I used um, a little reindeer and a little squirrel and then out of the book I used um, with the clear stickers I used another reindeer and another um, squirrel and now we got these little round chipboard pieces I love these and one had a dragonfly so I stuck that by my son's because it went perfect that one had a little cute leaf this one had two trees and this one had another leaf so I kind of made my own little clusters with each one of their little frames and pictures so then we got these thickers which I absolutely love because they come in all different colors and they're very tiny so um, my title is falling for you get it fall huh? leaves falling for you anyway <laughs> that is my title I thought it was cute and um, then I had the I had these in my stash. They weren't actually part of the kit that we got. Um, they're just little um, nuts <laughs> that I stuck on there, little acorns. Um, and I just kind of randomly stuck a few on the layout like that. And then I came in. They gave us these enamel dots, and these are also um, part of the kit as well. And they had the perfect colors, of course. So they had this really cool purple. I don't know what color that is, but it is a super cool looking purple. And then we had this pink, and then we had the little bit um, brighter uh, coral color, and then the um, light blue, I actually went in my stash to get those. Um, Cause I wanted a lighter blue than the blue that was on. Um, the enamel sheets that they gave us the enamel dots so and I think is that all I do I think that's it I believe so yes that is it so I hope you guys like it I love the way this turned out super easy way to fill up the page and I loved using my Sizzix machine to cut out all of those beautiful leaves so I hope you guys like it, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. Just hit that red subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. There's your close-up, guys. It came out super pretty. 
I love the colors they went so well together and it's a good way to use these little photos um, and showcase them on a layout because I really never know what to do with them most of the time so this is a good way of using them up and um, making them look really cool so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon and remember stay crafty bye